love it. That's all that carb. What is up guys? Welcome to another exciting pottery video. I'm John the Potter. Today we are getting this kiln ready to fire. So this is the first gas firing, cone 10 gas reduction of the year. This is a pretty new kiln for us. And so I wanna take you through the whole process. We got it mostly loaded right now. And what's really exciting about this kiln is that we have some test tiles. So my studio assistant Kai made up 12 brand new glazes. So these are not commercial glazes. These are glazes that he made from scratch and they're all in here. We're testing. We have three different clay bodies. We have some on the top and some on the bottom. So that's going to help show us how much reduction is there getting more reduction on the top, more reduction on the bottom. So that's going to be super interesting to see lots of plates, mugs. So we're going to get this filled up. We have a bunch more planters to put in here. Uh, but first, before we get into that, I want to tell you about our first restock of the year. So our first Etsy restock, we do one restock a month where we take 100 or so of the best pots that we made uh, and we put them up online for sale. So that's going to be February 4th at 6 p.m. on my Etsy shop. So if you want to check it out, whatever comes out of here is going to be on there, plus some of the electric fired stuff that I've been doing forever. And then the other thing is the Epic Pottery event is happening again this year and it's going to be even expanded into three days, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and there's gonna be some some workshops in there. So if you have pieces of your own, you wanna bring them, learn about gas firing, put them in this kiln. If you wanna maybe do a soda firing or bring your own pieces for a raku firing, we're gonna have some of those options as well as like a beginning mug making tutorial, stuff like that. So it'll be more of a workshop as well as just a bunch of pots for sale and all that stuff. So that's August 9th through the 11th of this year. Love for you to check it out. Okay, as far as this goes, we just got to get the planters in there. Oh, the other thing I want you guys to do is think about naming the kilns. So a lot of potters name their kilns so that, you know, when they're talking about which kiln they're going to be firing or which kiln they want to load, they don't say like the gas kiln or the bis kiln. They say, you know, Joe Schmo or Obi-Wan Kenobi if you want a Star Wars theme. So we're thinking about naming our kilns. So we have our gas kiln, we have our three electric kilns, we have our Raku kiln, and then we have our future soda kiln that we're going to be building this April with Kevin Kowalski. So all of those will need names. So I'd love to see them in the comments. What are the names you want for the kilns? All right, let's go show you what we got for the planters. These are all the new glazes that we're testing in this kiln. Chino, Pete's Cranberry, Leech Ash, Luster, Carbon Trap, Yellow Salt, Strontium Blue. All right, so here are all the planters that are going in. Planters are super fun to glaze because you can really do anything and it's not gonna drip. Now we're gonna load the cone packs in there. So this is cone 012. So we put it into reduction when this one goes and then cone 9, 10, 11. And so we know when to shut it off when the 10 is down on both. We put one on the bottom side of the kiln. It's always kind of a puzzle to get this, to get it figured out because it has to match up with the holes here so you can see it. All right, that should be pretty close. Okay, so kiln's all packed, burners are going, they're just on pilot right now. I might turn them up a little bit, but it's just gonna preheat really slow overnight. So then tomorrow when we, it'll be at five, six, seven hundred degrees, something like that, and then we'll start ramping it up. Because everything in there is cold right now, and we wanna make sure that it's at an even temperature when we start ramping it up. So overnight, we'll do the trick, we'll come back tomorrow, we'll start ramping this thing up. So it says 1600 degrees. Oxyprobe is at 570, so we're gonna come around the back here and just push the damper in a little bit. There's two different lines on there, so when I push that in, it starves the kiln of oxygen. So then the Oxyprobe should start to go up. It's already at 630, so it's gone up 100. Should go up and settle somewhere right around like 775, which will now it'll be in reduction for pretty much the remainder of the firing. firing it's what is it two o'clock ish and uh, we're getting to the end of the firing so cone 9 is soft I'm gonna check it out 
So we're gonna pull, pull this probe out. I'm gonna put the sunglasses on. It's so hot and bright in there that uh, it's good to look through sunglasses to get a look in there. You can blow in there to get uh, some oxygen in there so you can see better. And I can see cone nine is most of the way down on top. And then I check the bottom. Nine is all the way down and 10 is just starting to go. So we're probably about an hour away from shutting it down but things are pretty good. We'll oxidize for just a little at the end. We've been doing that, and that just helps smooth out the glazes at the end. All right. So yeah, basically I'm just gonna pull the damper open to let a little more oxygen in, do that for like five minutes, and then we'll shut her all down. So we're gonna shut the burners off, and then we'll shut this one off. We'll push this damper all the way in. Shut the gas off, that'll shut the pilots off. Then I have some fiber blanket, we'll just wrap these holes. And then we wait for the unload tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, after a long night of sleeping, this kiln is ready to unload. This is literally the best part of pottery. And I don't say literally very often because this is so fun. There's so much, where there's hours and hours and hours of work into this kiln. And now we finally get to see the results so it can be great or it can be very devastating as well. So, you guys ready for this? To see this kiln unload? All right. There it is. Look at that. Oh, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. You can probably only see like 10% of what's in the kiln, but Oh, already I see some stunners, which usually, you know, you see a couple things come out of the kiln and you know if it's gonna be good. That is good. So good. Oh, I love it. That glaze, I did this glaze a lot uh, in this kiln, so it's good. Wow, that is really, really cool. Just, I'm just gonna give you guys a little taste and then I'm, I'm waiting for Kai to get here because Kai really is invested in all these test tiles that we have in here. Look at that. So I left all that carved, just bare clay. What a cool color, that reduction turns the clay. And then white gloss over alabaster up here. I'm super happy, super happy so far, and we've only seen like just a tiny percentage. Cones are always the indicator. Ha! The top ones are hot still. So you can see that this, these cones probably got to, the bottom probably got closer to cone 11 than I would like. So it definitely got to cone 10, and 11 was starting to go down a little. So the cone, the bottom was probably cone 10 and a half, and the top hopefully was right around cone 10. So this kiln tends to be about a half cone different if we do it well. Um, if we do it poorly, like we fire it too fast, then it's gonna be like a cone or more different between the top and the bottom. Look at that, so that's really, really cool. Probably can't even really see. So this is white gloss over uh, blue surf. All right, just a couple of the test tiles that we got out. This one must be Pete's cranberry, I'm guessing. Um, this will be, it'll be really interesting to go through all these test tiles when they're out because we label them, oh yeah, what they are and then where they're gonna go. So bottom, top, all that stuff. So it's gonna be interesting and three different kinds of clay. So we're gonna be able to see like where in the kiln makes the difference and how much the clay made. It turned out nicely. Ooh, got a little bit of oil bottle in that same glaze. Wow. And getting, we're getting good. We're getting good. Gas kiln. This side obviously got quite a, like, quite a bit hotter. It just melted that glaze. And then this side was more of the normal temp, which is it's cool. All right, I'm gonna resist the urge to unload it and wait for Kai to come. Pretty cool stuff.
tiles on the clay. I like, I like some of these. Got a new mark on the stamps this year. JTP John the Potter 2024. So now it's dated. Alright guys, that's it for this video. That was a super fun gas kiln to unload. Uh, we got some sweet new test tiles out. So a couple of our favorites were this yellow salt was one that we're definitely gonna be making a bigger batch of. Uh, the Pete's Cranberry, that turned out really, really cool. That red is awesome on both B clay and buff stoneware. Uh, and then the Celadon, Carbon Trap Celadon. That one was also another favorite. Gave us very much uh, Florian Gadsby vibes. So we'll definitely make a big batch of that and test that out. Also, we unloaded an electric kiln today too. So we got a bunch of planters out and a bunch of Northern Lights stuff, bunch of new oil bottles, copper float stuff. Been a big day in the studio. So uh, all this stuff from the kiln is going to be up online for sale February 4th. Uh, at 6 p.m. Central Time on Etsy. So that's the first Etsy restock of 2024. Bunch of other stuff we'll be doing, like pottery event, August 9th through the 11th. Uh, building the soda kiln in April is gonna be super fun. So as always, comment below, what did you like that came out of the kiln? What do you guys wanna see more of? All right, that's it for this video. Uh, see you guys in the next one.